Can you praise God in every situation? Can you worship God in every situation? Because you know that God is with you even in the mess that you're in. And the only way I can know that God is with me, it's not through a physical sign. It's through the eyes of faith. So the Bible says, uh, four armies came against Jehoshaphat. Emma Messiah. I'm just telling you right now, God is with you whether you feel it or not. The church has to wake up. We're always looking for some physical sign. Do you know how many people go to prophets and they go to whatever? Give me a sign. You don't need a sign. His word already says he is with you. When the devil attacks you, when he jumps on you, which he will, for the Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and the powers of darkness, he will jump on you. But don't you panic, sir. Don't you be afraid. Don't you be discouraged and depressed. When the devil jumps on you, Jesus Christ says he is inside of you and greater is he who is in you. Hallelujah. Than he that is in the world. Somebody shout hallelujah. The one who is in you is greater. You know, some people say, uh, I feel uh, I'm going to lose it. You know, feeling, you got to be careful this feeling thing. Uh, 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 I feel, come, come, I feel I'm not getting better. You, you, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, uh, I feel, I feel I am getting worse. I mean, I'm not talking about unbelievers speaking like that. I am talking about people in the church who are dominated by their feelings, uh, who are wooed uh, by their feelings. Uh, but listen to me, church, whether you feel like a winner or not, you are an overcomer and you need to let the devil know, hallelujah, you are more than a conqueror. You are victorious. Shout hallelujah. Your feeling has nothing to do with the word of God. The word of God is true whether you believe it or not. I like the song that says when Jesus says yes, can nobody say no. Uh, so King Jehoshaphat heard that four armies coming against him. Folks, I mean you've got a bunch of demons and devils coming against you. Now, now, now you can see, now you can see the four armies, you can see them with your physical eyes, you see. You can see the people that are coming against you with your physical eyes. Yes. But what you cannot see, now at work, at work you've got this girl at work who doesn't like you, alright? And you know she's talking about you. Now you can see her with your physical eyes. But the person you cannot see at work is Jesus. You can't see him. Yeah. I can see you gossiping about me. I can see. But the person I cannot see while you're gossiping about me, I can't see. And that's why sometimes I take matters into my own hands because I cannot see. So therefore, I am fighting you because I am conscious you're coming after me. But I'm not conscious that he is. Nobody in church will fight against anybody, would fight against anybody if we were all conscious that the battle is not yours. Oh, you know I'm preaching right now. You would not be fighting against anybody if you were conscious that the battle is not yours. What am I fighting against you for? The battle is the Lord's. So in the midst of four armies coming against them, the Bible says the spirit of the Lord came upon a prophet, a man of God. In the midst of the congregation, the Bible says the spirit. How many of you know even though the Holy Ghost is invisible, he's still here. Hallelujah. Can you put your hands together and give him praise? The spirit is here. 